I can see you. Can you see me? Here I am. I was hiding. Welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. I am the comedic carpenter. Today, we're talking about Stanley Levels. Stabila, idiot. Do I think they're worth buying? Look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna level with you. <laughs> yes. I'm already starting to sweat. Five minutes in, I haven't said a damn thing. I'm coming to you live today from Mount Stabila. I've summoned, I've summited, I'm at the peak. So let's discuss why I think they're worth the money. And you know, if you're on the fence, maybe you'll buy them or maybe you won't. But we'll take a look at my collection here. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, let's get into it. <sighs> Fitting. <laughs> that works. Try and make something of that intro. So Stabila is a German company. Just so happens, I'm kind of fluent in German. Danke, Fjörksch, Schind mein, Liebenfrusk, Eins, Neun, Drei, Eint, Ganz, Lichtmast. I just said, in German, welcome to the channel, my German friends. I hope you like and subscribe. 13 minutes. Holy crap. I only had 30 minutes allotted for this entire video. Recording, setup, tear down, editing, never gonna make it. So expensive tools, quality tools are an investment up front, but it pays down the road when you don't have to, we can just count on it and keep using it for years and years. You don't have to replace it. It doesn't break, doesn't lose accuracy. And that's the case where I feel with these stability levels. I think if you're a professional, then these types of tools are definitely worth investing in. If you're a homeowner, you use a level once, twice a year, whatever, doing your homeowner DIY things, it's certainly overkill, not necessary. These are the types of tools that are designed to just be in and out of job sites, in and out of your vehicle, banged around, used and abused. I don't abuse my tools, okay? I treat them with respect, with the respect they deserve. To all my homeowners out there, DIY is a scam. DIY, DIY, big fat scam, big fat scam. This is the Stabila Type 196-2. Where you see that? Where is it? Where is it? Eh? Eh? See that? I don't know what that means. I don't know. I know it's got these handles. Those are nice. And I know that this vial here is open. See that? It's open, which I actually don't like. Some of these other levels, it's closed in. See, it's closed in. I like that better. Still a 196, though. I don't know why they did it that way. There's probably a reason. I just don't know it. What's neat about these Stabila levels, what makes them so expensive is this special yellow ceramic nanomagnetic coating. It basically increases the gravitational pull of the earth on the level. So whenever you set it on, it just like sticks down to it like a magnet. I just made all that up. It's just some kind of yellow enamel or powder coat or something. Nice finish, durable. So when considering a level purchase, Couple things come into play. How much are you gonna use them? Um, are you qualified to use them? How much money do you have? So I don't know that a Stabila level is any more accurate out of the box than like a Stanley like this one. They're both reading level. But what I do know is that this one was like $40. This one, which is a third of the size, was I think 70 or 80, twice the price. And this one's also heavier. <laughs> I think it's heavier. No, it's not heavier. You know, this is gonna level fine. It's gonna level and plumb things just fine. But I haven't had this in my van for six, five, six years. So I don't know the durability of them, but I'm guessing it's not very high over the long term. Not like these. I don't know how these vials are set in here. The Stabilas are set in epoxy. They're held like perfectly level on some $10 million machine. And then they're epoxied into this frame. So they're just like basically one piece. Something like that. Don't quote me, but it's something like that. I know I'm your only source of information on this topic, but I don't know everything. Now, I will say, I do think a stability level is a lot more accurate out of the box than something like this. This is a, I think is a Johnson level, but it's very, very cheap, very light. A perfectly level? No, nah, the bubble's a little off. It's very flimsy. It's actually, yeah, see? I don't know if you can, I can just flex and twist it. You ain't doing that with this. What if it just twisted like a pretzel? <laughs> Another thing to consider is straightness. The level's not straight, it's useless, in my opinion. In my opinion is the only opinion that counts around here. The only way to test straightness, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot more professional ways than this. All I do is I stick two together and I run a feeler gauge in there. Hey, there's no markings on these. I paid $200 for these. You know what? Oh, don't you dare. 
Now I've done it. I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment. These are my type of cards. Let's go with that one. Two and a half. And I just feel it between there. Make sure there's no crud. Well, it'll go in. I don't even know if this is... Just means anything. Goes in a few spots here and there. They're straight. But a bent level. Ow, damn it. Okay, so we figured out they're perfectly straight. They better be here, Mr. Bila. It's my ass on the line here. They better be straight. Okay, so back to buying levels. Yeah, you just want to make sure that they're straight. What the hell was I even getting at? Can't remember now. Now this video is going to be all disjointed, not make any sense. Let's just go through the collection. Start with the smallest first, work our way up to the, the real gem. Look at that. Huh? It's a little pocket level. A little holster. Look at that. Tiny little level. This one's branded from Acme Tools. And you will focus. I think it's magnetic. Shit! Better be! Let's find out. Yeah, it's magnetic, all right. That's just kind of a neat little one. Keep it in one of my tool bags and use it from time to time. Also, of course... Wait, no, I gotta pull it out of the holster. I did it wrong. See that? See how fast I just leveled that? Dangerous. Fastest level ever. Not even in the West. Fastest level ever. So these are more practical here. This one's uh, magnetic as well. It's got the little groove. 45 degree vial. Plum. Yeah, it's one of my go-tos. I use this one quite a bit. And this one, I think it's eight inches, and it's just really handy. Getting in tight spaces. Not much more to say about that. That's the tiny ones. Now we're getting into the regular size ones here. 24 inch. The handles. I mean, you can use it as a weapon if you need to, and I think you could do some real damage quickly. 24, 32, 32 incher. Uh, I, bought, I bought these as a set when I originally bought it. I don't remember what came in it. 32, good for tubs. This one is the, turn this on here, you can see. It's the digital tech level. You can see, gives you the degree of incline. And there's also, when you get close. That's always nice, gets a little irritating. This is nice when you're leveling a cabinet or something. Something you can't see. Something you gotta be down under when you're working on it. Lifting up one side, then you bring it in. See more more visual representation. Yeah. It is a video after all. Get some light on it. Okay. It's also got a, on the top, it's got a display. Look how far out of level that is. Bring it in. Come on, my bench is perfectly level. Of course it is. I leveled it. Okay, yeah, all right. I like this one. Let's go to this one next. This is an extendable, 24 to 40 inches. It's got a little locking mechanism here. Just extends out, just like that. It's really handy. Getting in odd spaces, and then you can get exact inside of a window frame, whatever the case. Just get your exact width. Again, when you need it, it's nice to have. And then we have a 58. 58, good for tubs, shower pans, things like that. I think that's what it was probably designed for. Are you still there? Are you still watching? Hello? All right, good, just checking. Now we're getting into big dogs. Let me start knocking stuff over here. This is a 78 inch, good for doors. Good for plumbing doors, amongst many other things. Good for cabinets. I got this little attachment here. I'll just talk about this quick. It's a fast cap. How far out? I'm like so far out, man. Oh, what this is? I should probably describe it, huh? Basically, it's just it's just like a little. Just spin the wheel down, and it tell you your level reads level, and it tells you how far out it is. Hence the name. In this case, it's reading nine sixteenths. If you need to cut a shim or something, you'll know exactly how thick to cut it. Look. My head's level. I'm level-headed. There's no time for jokes. This is a serious film. It's about to get real serious. Mm. 
boom. This is it, the one and only. The old 96er, focus please. 96 inch level. That's eight feet for you people in France. This is big, this is a big boy. It's a little unwieldy at times, but it's nice. It's really nice for checking framing. It's eight feet long. It's huge. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's remarkably huge. It's like carrying a two by four around. Not much to say about it. It's just, again, when you need it, it's really nice to have. I'd like to know what this little uh, silver buttonhole here, this silver hole. Come on, focus. We've got all day here. I'm gonna smash you. What does this silver hole do? What is it for? Tie a string through there? I can't get it to focus, folks. Yeah, I can see through that. Oh yeah, it's a whole new world. Looking through that little hole. That's the collection. I better put this, uh, over here before somebody gets hurt. It's a lot of level to be wheeling around. If you ain't got the experience, could wind up injuring yourself. So if you want to level up your level game. I hate puns. Unless I'm the one doing the punning. You should get yourself a Stabila. You tell them the comedic carpenter sent you. They'll hook you up. Oh, I got some uh, kind of sad news too. My uncle passed away. Funeral was yesterday. It's a nice service. Um, I saw him laying in the casket there. He was dead level. So stupid. It's time to smoke a stogie. Dead level, get it? It's another pun, I think. What is a pun? I think I covered most of what I wanted to. By the way, I think all urinals in public restrooms should just be low. Why are they all tall? There's like two tall ones. The one low one. Why are they all, well, well, just make them all low. I don't get it. It's some deep thoughts, deep, deep thoughts there. These are the things that go through my head. Cut, it's a wrap. Good job, crew. Back at it again tomorrow, bright and early. Don't piss me off. You're not getting paid. Goes for you too, ma. A, B, A, B, A, B. 45 minutes, not bad. Cut that down to 42, we'll get her down to 43.